Tesla announced plans to make an electric semi in November last year, garnering buzz and pre-orders from major customers including Pepsi, Walmart and Anheuser-Busch. Now, the company is testing its prototype semis on the open road in California and Nevada. Tesla CEO Elon Musk shared photos of a cargo-hauling test drive with his legions of followers on Instagram and Twitter on Wednesday. The truck photos in video featured side-view mirrors. When Tesla originally showed off its semi-prototypes last year, they did not feature analog mirrors. Instead the company said they would use cameras to give drivers a comprehensive view of their surroundings. That doesn't mean the Tesla Semi will have traditional side-view mirrors, however. When automakers test prototypes, their vehicles can include parts in various stages of readiness. The Tesla Semis that have been spotted in the wild, and shown off today by Musk, aren't precisely representative of the final production vehicles. While Tesla has told investors it would start mass production of its electric semis in 2019, the company has yet to announce where these trucks will be manufactured. General Motors' new Chevrolet Silverado medium-duty truck will compete in more segments than initially expected, a strategy coinciding with the automaker's plan to expand and improve its commercial dealership network. The automaker, when unveiling the vehicle at the War Truck Show here Wednesday, said it will compete in Class 6 chassis cab trucks in addition to Class 4 and 5, which were previously announced. The addition helps expand GM's reach and differentiate it from competitors such as Ford Motor Company and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, according to executives. Ed Pepper, U.S. Vice President of GM Fleet, told Automotive News on the sidelines of the show. This will be the biggest thing we've ever done for commercial. I think it's a real inflection point in our business. This just says a lot about the support from our leadership and the resources that we're getting to continue to grow this business. Medium-duty trucks range from Class 4 through Class 6 based on gross vehicle weight ratings, which is the maximum operating weight mass of a vehicle. The new Silverado has a max of 22,500 pounds, which reaches into the middle of the Class 6 trucks, where Ram does not compete, and Ford has a truck but on a different frame than its other medium duties. John Schweigman, GM's US Director of Commercial Product and Medium Duty said, it's a different proposition in the market than what Ford and Ram have. The trucks, which the company has said were built from the ground up and are not variants of existing trucks, are aimed at fleet and commercial buyers and can be upfitted with work-specific beds and boxes for work such as landscaping, emergency services, refrigeration and towing. GM expects to eventually gain upward of a 25 to 30 percent share of the medium-duty truck segment, which would equal its level prior to exiting the segment during the company's 2009 bankruptcy. Pepper said, we're going to have to conquest largely from Ford, a little bit from Ram. More important than the sales of the medium-duty segment is the adjacent sales, according to Pepper. He said, for every one of these trucks we sell, we think we're going to sell a van, we're going to sell a pickup and one of something else. The adjacent sales are expected to expand past vehicles to other business segments such as GM Financial, Parts and Accessories and OnStar, which offers a fleet service with tracking and diagnostic services called Commercial Link. The adjacent sales are a main draw for Chevy dealers. However, Schwegman said the company's being very blunt in letting dealers know they must be committed to their commercial business to be successful. He said, it's bad for the dealer if they invest in something and aren't ready for it and it's bad for our customers if they have a bad experience, they get specked into the wrong truck. They have a service experience. A lack of knowledgeable salesperson. The best for everyone is to be a commercially focused dealer. GM last week opened in Roman to become a commercial dealer. GM expects to expand its dealer network for medium-duty commercial vehicles, including those produced through a partnership with Isuzu, this year from 240 to about 400 with the introduction of the Chevy Silverado 4500 HD, 
5500 HD and 6500 HD. Requirements to become a commercial dealer include training for sales and service staff on commercial vehicles as well as parts and other specifications such as service door heights and lifts to accommodate the trucks. GM estimates the cost to meet the requirements at $100,000 to $200,000. However, Schweigman previously said many other dealers already have many of the facility requirements. He said, incremental training and parts could cost just run $10,000 to $15,000 for those dealers. The medium-duty Silverado trucks, like their light-duty counterparts, feature a mixed-use strategy that includes aluminum, high-strength steel and other materials. They also feature several exterior design characteristics of the current light-duty Silverado. On the interior, the commercial trucks also feature some of the same comfort creatures of the light-duty Silverado on the interior. Some of them include USB chargers, quieter cabins and a built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. The trucks are designed to support wireless cell phone charging and Bluetooth, along with support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They will be available in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive and will be powered by a 6.6-liter Duramax diesel engine with 350 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque and Allison transmissions with a power takeoff option. Unlike a decade ago, GM has no plans to sell a medium-duty GMC truck, according to execs. GM did not announce pricing, however it's expected to be $40,000 minus $60,000. That does not include upfitting charges for specific needs that can cost several times more than the chassis cab. GM partnered with Navistar International Corporation to develop and produce the trucks in Springfield, Ohio. Production is expected to begin in late 2018. Order guides will be available in the spring and exact pricing will be announced this summer. Honda's adorable little urban EV concept stole hearts at last year's Frankfurt Motor Show, and at the Geneva Motor Show this week, the automaker confirmed that it's making a production version of the car, with a target street date of late 2019 for the cute little guy, though it'll be a European exclusive at first. The Honda urban EV concept features a two-door, four-seat design, and a look that evokes virtual pets more than maybe automobiles. It's a natural fit for the European market, where its quirky styling and maximum use of minimum space are a good fit for street conditions and use cases. Though don't know the target range of the vehicle or its final design, but hopefully Honda doesn't stray far from the concept when it comes time to produce the car. Tesla's electric semi-truck, the Semi, impressed observers when it was unveiled in November. CEO Elon Musk had hinted that the truck specs would top analyst expectations and delivered with a truck that's fast, efficient and stylish. The semi won't go into production until 2019, but what appear to be prototypes of the truck have popped up near Tesla's headquarters in California. And on Wednesday, Musk posted a picture of the semi in an Instagram post before it set out to make its first delivery. According to Musk, the trucks were making their first production cargo trip, transporting battery packs from Tesla's Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada to the company's car assembly factory in Fremont. Since November, a number of major companies have ordered semis, including Prevsi, Walmart, and Anheuser-Busch. But while big-name customers could quicken Tesla's entrance into the trucking industry, they'll likely put more pressure on Tesla to hit production deadlines than the over 400,000 Model 3 reservation holders. Semi-customers will also expect Tesla to hit the impressive specs the company announced in November. The most important feature is the truck's 500-mile range per charge which some competitors have claimed is impossible and analysts have said will rely on improvements in battery technology between now and 2019. The semi will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 mph in 5 seconds without a trailer and in 20 seconds while carrying 80,000 pounds of cargo. The cabin features a unique design made possible by the lack of a diesel engine. 
drivers will be positioned in the center of the vehicle to increase visibility and have enough room to stand in the cabin. Like Tesla's consumer cars, the Semi will have the company's autopilot software, which will allow the truck to brake and stay in its lane without driver input. Musk envisioned semis eventually moving in semi-autonomous convoys, which would save fuel costs by reducing wind resistance for some of the trucks.